I'm Tim Reed with Cushman Wakefield Commerce in Boise. I'm a principal and investment specialist here in Boise, Idaho. Last three years we've seen um, quite a transition from uh, the hard economic times that we faced. Um, we've seen a lot of distressed assets come through the system and um, a lot of those have worn off but we've mainly uh, seen this past year uh, a bunch of um, properties come online which are true investment properties um, without distress. And as we see that, the market moves and we get a lot of more 1031 buyers. And um, as the banks loosen up on um, the underwriting criteria, um, we actually have financing available for more investment properties. In Boise, we've seen um, a tremendous amount of activity on the investment side, um, all property types. Um, and a lot of that is being pushed in the valley by um, the resurgence of the residential market. We've seen a lot of land sales. Um, we've seen a lot of 1031 money, which are larger investments um, with some major asset purchases in downtown Boise, um, as well as throughout the valley with uh, SBA financing for smaller properties, but a lot of 1031 money and uh, larger sales recently. We've seen um, what we call cap rate suppression um, meaning a, a lowering of the cap rate um, due to the activity in the investment market. And I would expect that to continue through the rest of 2013. Uh, I do still see some distress in the market and would imagine uh, cash buyers and people who are ready to move quickly could see some good opportunities from some of the distress. Trending through 2013, we're going to see, I, I think, more activity in the investment market uh, throughout the valley and throughout the state. Um, our connection with Cushman Wakefield um, through Cushman Wakefield Commerce has allowed us to uh, branch out and participate uh, in a regional and national uh, forum. There's still some discrepancy between buyers and sellers. Um, sellers are still holding on to properties and the, the value curve hasn't come where everybody's in agreement on what that is. I expect through 2013 for that to settle a little um, as the cap rates compress. Um, the sales price and asking price should start coming in line for buyers and sellers.